surprise seeing you here. On the ship. Mm-hmm. Mosey. Uh-huh. What are you doing in the cleaning closet? Oh. Uh, I was just looking for... Uh, this. <laughs> the Quantum Drive Dustbuster 2900? Uh, yeah. I need it for uh, busting dust. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Come on, Mosey. We have work to do. You can't stay hiding forever. That sounds like a challenge. It's not. Come on, get ready. We've got some Earthlings in Japan to meet for our travel guide. Japan? It's an island country in the South Pacific. <gasps> Come on. It'll be fun. Yeah. That's what you said the last time. Hit a rock. Space hit a rock. We crashed down on the nearest planet and waited for a tow truck. It would truck. only take 3,000 years, so we thought we'd look around, we around and learn about this planet from the creatures that we found. That we found. And when they speak, they always sing. So we learn from all the animals how to be an Earthling. 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 Yeah. Flip, <laughs> you said Japan was going to be fun. <laughs> but as far as I can tell, it's just f f f f freezing. Yes, there seems to have been a slight <laughs> miscalculation with the weather. Yeah, there's so much flying white dirt, Flip. <laughs> it's getting in my mouth. Don't worry, Mosey. <laughs> I should have just stayed in the cleaning closet. Ah! That is it! We're s -s 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 supposed to be on Earth to interview Earthlings! So that is what we are going to do! <laughs> and we are going to have fun doing it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Moses. I didn't mean to make you upset. <laughs> yeah, it's just that we've been on Earth for so long now, and we've been working so hard. I just miss home so much. Me too, Mosey. There are just so many traditions that we used to have back home that they don't have here. You know? Yeah. Remember how we used to link up tentacles each year and go pod to pod singing Scragnar, Scragnar, oh, we're for our now, Scragnar! Oh, yeah, that was one of my favorites. <laughs> or the home c c cooked nourishment. Oh, yeah. We used to bake these amazing sulfide Slurpees. Mmm, -hmm. boy. What I would give to slurp down one of those right now. What about the adventures we had on the way here? Yeah. Remember how we would come upon a rover that the humans sent? <laughs> and we'd ride it until the battery was dead? Ah, that was exciting. Yeah, those were good times. Remember how we used to planet hop until we ran out of gas? <laughs> and then how we discovered that crystal that powered the ship and we didn't need gas anymore. <sighs> that was the best. I can't believe since we discovered Earth how much time has passed. Yeah. I bet we missed the crater party and the yearly orbital festival. Yeah. This is such a beautiful planet that we are on. Still we can't help think of the things back home that have gone. We still are and are. Some rest and relaxation we can make it through. Ooh. 
get stressed out with you sometimes. Oh, it's fine, Flip. What we need is some R and R, you know? Yeah. Some rest and relaxation. Yeah. Um, wait, um, Mosey? What? Do you see something peculiar up there? Oh, yeah. Hey, look at the ground up there. Do you see that steam? Yeah, that looks just like the Argon Hot Springs back home that make us feel supreme. <gasps> supposed to get perfectly warm water in it. <laughs> Apologies for my little ones. They can get awfully excited around bath time, especially when it's this cold out. Oh, well, that's okay. You should see Flip when she has her annual bubble bath. Mosey! What? I'm Flip. This is Mosey. We write an intergalactic travel guide. Yeah. I'm afraid I don't know what that is. We basically go around and stick our beaks into different Earthlings' business for about 20 minutes and then report back to our home planet. Well, I don't have a beak, <laughs> but it is an honor to meet you both. My name is Yumi, and this is my troop. I am just one of the many snow monkeys that populate this valley. I love it. If it wasn't for all this white dirt flying all over, I bet this place would be amazing. <laughs> yes, it can get very chilly here this time of year. 14 degrees Fahrenheit, or as we say in Japan, negative 10 degrees Celsius. Well, then it certainly is a good thing you've got that big fur coat on to keep you warm. <laughs> yeah, that's some coat. It is a little weird that you wore it into the hot tub, though. <laughs> This fur coat cannot be removed. It is attached to my body, and the thick hairs help me stay warm as the temperature drops. Well, you are pulling it off. Maybe I should grow my hairs out. Write that down, Flip. <laughs> it is a very useful trait, but it doesn't keep me quite as warm as a dip in this beautiful onsen. Onsen? Yes, that is our word for these hot springs. Whatever you call it, onsen. Hot tub, I am here for it. Ah. <laughs> Looks like we got here just in time. This place is getting busy. This is my trope. They're mainly relatives and other snow monkeys that live in our community. And they all take time out of their day to soak in this hot water? <laughs> that is correct. The onsen is an ancient tradition for my troupe. One that dates all the way back to 1963. Whoa, 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 whoa. 1963? Um, I don't think I would call that ancient. Let me tell you the tale of how my people cultivated this age-old ritual. Just before 60 years ago, Snow monkeys never ever came below where the hairless apes ruled. These very same steamy pools. But we loved apples though, and so would go down to the pool's edge where the apples grow. And one day, just by luck, see one fell into the muck. Now one brave monkey said, I cannot waste this delicious apple that I want to taste. So he dipped his hand inside. <laughs> and boy, he was surprised. Because I, 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 the water was warm. I, 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 the water was warm. A new tradition was born on that day. 
that young monkey went and got his friends And his friends told others that they recommend To go soak in the tubs It's the greatest of clubs And day by day a new tradition grew And every monkey generation follows through We go soak out our stress These hot pools are the best That monkey that dived into the onsen on that fateful day in 1963 was none other than my great, great, great... Cool. Great, great... Oh, you're not done. Great, great, great grandfather. Cool. It is a legacy that I am very proud of and one that I will one day pass down to my children. Speaking of which... <laughs> yes? It's apples! Apples! Yay! <laughs> yes! Flip, Mosey, would you care to join us? You two are going to love this. Man, these must be some really good apples. Yes, the apples in this region are some of the best in all of Japan. Are apples those things that are full of hair and bones? No, no, no. They are fruits, sweet and crisp and refreshing. What are those monkeys doing, Flip? It looks like they're all just standing around, twiddling their tails. I thought we were here to eat. Well, Mosey, I think they're waiting in line. Waiting in line? Ugh! What does that even mean? I'll have you know, I was waiting in line champion three years in a row back home. <laughs> you know, Flip and Mosey, in our troop's culture, we have a strict hierarchy. A way of doing things that every monkey must respect. Hier what e? A hierarchy is a way of organizing things, with more important things being put on top and less important things being put on the bottom. Yes, and in our troop, it is the elder monkeys whose needs are put above everyone else, so they get to eat first. Well, technically I am 23,000 light years old, but... I mean... But since we are guests here, we we'll await our turn. Right, Mosey? Yes! Right! Oh, a good apple. Then the middle-aged monkeys eat. That's me. Let's see here. I'll take this one, this one, and this one. Then, only then do the smaller monkeys get to eat. Go on, little ones. <laughs> everyone has their place, and everyone has to respect that. Mm, I like the way you think. It sounds so organized. <laughs> Everything in its place. <sighs> Here you go, Mozi san. Thank you kindly. And one for you, Flip san. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Krasnitz. These little munchies weren't kidding, Flip. Monkeys, Mozi. Call them whatever you want. These things are juicy. Here, try one. Okay. Maybe just say little nibble. Mm. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Okay. Excuse me. Mama! 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 Baba! Yes, little ones. Can, Can we, we have, have dessert now? I'm still hungry. Well, that depends. Have you finished your apples? Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. Well, okay then. Let me just take a seat here. Okay. You may begin. Flip, uh, what's going on? Um, I'm not entirely sure, Mosey. I'm getting out of here. My children are combing through my fur for parasites and bugs to eat. Uh, 
Ah. It is a great sign of respect. I got one now. I want that one. No, I fly for all the time you're on. Did that little Munchichi just eat a bug off his mama's back? That is correct. Just as I ate bugs from my mother's fur and her mother before her. It is a sign of great respect. Looks, uh, delicious. <laughs> delicious and important. It is our traditions and our cultures that define us. <laughs> you can say that again. But that's the problem, Flip. We don't have any traditions anymore. No sulfide slurpees, no good old snarl bark. Not while we're stuck down here on Earth. But, Mosey, don't you see? If these snow monkeys can make their own traditions here, then why can't we? Hey, you're right. Look at all these little monkeys taking hot baths. This tradition didn't even exist 60 years ago. Who's to say we can't start a few traditions of our own? Right here on Earth. I do not doubt it. Snow monkeys are smart. They live farther up on the planet than any other primate in the coldest part. And you can't ignore the practice of eating bugs off each other's fur. And the fact of how the status shows them just when to defer. But what a great thing to see how the snow monkeys live so adaptably. They make up all these new traditions that keep their culture changing so rapidly. It's so remarkable, so I say, snow monkeys change from day to day. They take new things that seem strange and then they make a new tradition. How the snow monkeys found the hot spring. Right. Well, it wasn't that long ago. No. Maybe we could do that kind of thing. Hmm. Well, I know that you've been homesick. Yeah. Well, I kind of feel the same way, too. You do? Yeah, so maybe we should be like the monkeys and start our own tradition here on Earth that's new. Hey! What a great thing to see how the snow monkeys live so adaptively. homesick now, Mosey? Yeah, I think I am. I still miss my mom's sulfide slurpees, but... But now we are making new memories, new traditions, starting right here in this hot spring. Ah, and this one, this one's gonna be a keeper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so ends another frigid episode of How to Be an Earthling. Today we met Yumi, a snow monkey from the island of Japan. We learned that we aren't the only creatures on this planet to have traditions. Yeah! They might not be guzzling down boiling hot sulfide slurpees, but the traditions that these little monkeys have come up with are pretty cool. That's right, Mosey. These 
snow monkeys, or Japanese macaques, as they are sometimes called, have a long and proud history of respecting one's elders. And a not so long and proud history of getting their spa on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Since the early 1960s, these monkeys have been using natural hot springs as a way to keep themselves warm during the cold winter months. A tradition that I am more than happy to adopt as my own. In fact, I think I can hear my cherry-scented bubble bath overflowing in the other room as we speak. Overflowing? Not again, Mosey. <laughs> uh, until next time, this was How, How to, to Be, be an Earthling. Well, thank you, Earthlings, for joining us for this guide to how to be an Earthling. We hope we helped you discover something new about your incredible home planet. And if there's one thing we've discovered, is that your planet is big. You got land, sky, and ocean. Sure, that is way too much for any two intergalactic travel guides to cover on our own. So that is where you come in. We need your help. We can't do this on our own. I need me time. What Mosey is trying to say is that we need your contributions to our Earth Guide. If you happen to notice or learn something interesting or unusual about an Earthling species on your planet, please share it with us. <laughs> you can call us on the Selly Telly Ring a Ding Dingy at 1 833 4F L I P M O. That's 1 833 number 4 Flipmo. Write that down. Your field reports may be used on an upcoming Earthlings travel pod. That's one eight three three four flipmo Just like our names. Flip and Mosey's Guide to How to Be an Earthling is a Tinkercast original production. And all of the original songs you heard in this episode were written and arranged by Jason Rabinowitz and the Pop-Ups. How to Be an Earthling is written by Kenny Curtis and Thomas Van Kalken. Written by... What does that mean? That means they put the words in our mouths, Mosey. Oh, okay. Our masterminds of original sound design are Jason Rabinowitz, Ed Rosenberg III, with help from our senior production director, Jed Anderson. Our show is edited by Jacob Stein with additional production assistance from Henry Moskal. Our executive producers are Guy Raz, Mindy Thomas, and Meredith Halpern Ranzer. A tip of the tentacles to the rest of the Earthling team, including Jessica Bode, Natasha Crandall, Anna Zagorski, Rebecca Leifer, and Joaquin Friedman. And special thanks to the actors you heard in this episode, <laughs> including Kim Miller as Yumi, and our Earthling alter egos, Courtney Shaw, and David Ryan Smith. I ate him, and his voice comes through me. Grown-up Earthlings, you can follow us online at EarthlingPod. Our email address is hello at tinkercast.com. And finally, thanks to you for listening. Without you and your planet, we'd probably be in some remote galaxy screaming into the void of a black hole. But now we're screaming in your ears. Ha! And might I say, those are very oddly shaped appendages. Nosy! Until next time. Book Mosey Guide to How to Be an Earthling was made by Tinkercast and sent to you by Wondry. <laughs>